Hey guys, welcome back to another Destiny 2 video. In this video, I'll be talking about how to get the Scallywag seal in Destiny 2 Season of Plunder. Hope you guys do enjoy this video. This seal is a total of 10 shrines that you're going to have to do throughout Season 18. And of course, you can do it through until Lightfall is released in February 20, 20, the 28th, I believe, is when it launches. So you still have time to do it. Be where I, I usually get all the seasonal stuff done during the season, so I don't need to come back to it later on if I forget. But yeah, it's a total of 10 triumphs called Scallywag. We're going to get right into it. Please be sure to subscribe and like as we're trying to get to 20,000 subscribers. Thank you for 15k. And yeah, hope you guys do enjoy the video. Let's get right into it. So the first triumph is going to be that you have to journey to each of the pirate hideouts and defeat the pirate lords within. Now, right now, you can only do two of the pirate hideouts, and they're only available once per week. You won't be able to do it twice in the same week. As soon as you finish the quest step that says you have to go do it in the narrative quest that's going on with season 18 you won't be able to go back i believe you can do it maybe once on each character that you have if you have a tiny warlock and hunter but you won't be able to do it again that same week so it kind of really does suck you can't play you can't re there's no replayability with it like expunge if you play back with splicer which i don't really enjoy i kind of like doing that replayability so once you finish it against, you only need to kill the Pyre Lord within the weekly mission. So just doing it again, it's not too hard of a try. I'm just doing that over a course of like five or six weeks, depending on how many pirate hideouts that we get this whole season. So it wouldn't be too much. The next tribe is going to ask you to purchase all upgrades from the star chart in the helm. Now there's a total of like a lot of upgrades. There's not like a, a small amount. I think there's like the same amount similar if you played Seasons of the Haunted with the whole Nightmare thing, if you did the Castellum and you got the upgrades there. So expect the same grind when it comes to that. However, this time around, in order to upgrade your star chart, you have to do the seasonal challenges. In the seasonal challenge tab, there is the first two triumphs and they usually have the upgrade consumable that you're gonna need to obtain those upgrades from the star chart. So you can see a lot of time gation because in week one, of course, you can only get two of those collect collectibles to purchase a star chart upgrade. You won't be able to, of course, do like three or four and some of these upgrades ask you to do more other triumphs with them as there's like an upgrade, for example, where you're gonna have to summon a crewmate in the first you know row and if you don't have that upgrade then you're gonna have to wait till another week of course to get it so you see the time gation so be aware you have to get all upgrades which you can easily do before december when season 18 ends it's just going to be a bit of time gated stuff as once we see all the seasonal challenges we'll be able to get all of them the next trap is going to ask you to listen to all radio messages in the ether tank. If you go into the ether quarter, I mean the elixir quarter, you'll be able to see the tab where it shows all the recorded messages. As the narrative story continues, you'll be able to go there and listen to all the recorded messages. I believe there's seven. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but you'll be able to go there and, of course, listen to all the messages. The next tribe is going to ask you to get all the treasure beacons and decipher them for a location of the hidden treasure. Now there's a small treasure beacon, a medium treasure beacon, and a large treasure beacon that you're going to have to do. Now Redrix, how do you do the treasure beacons? Well, they're actually all available as of right now. If you didn't know, if you go to the star chart, you'll be able to see a kind of reputation pass uh, below the upgrades. And you'll see that there's a small treasure beacon at rank 3 a medium treasure beacon at rank 6, and a large treasure beacon at rank 13. Now, in order to get these, of course, you got to wrap up with the star chart. So doing expeditions, doing catch craft is one of the biggest ways to, of course, rank up. It's like the normal generic way. So if you grind it, you'll be able to get these treasure beacons, and they will give you a quest for each of them, and they'll ask you to do activities around the galaxy, the solar system, basically. They're basically in riddles, so you won't understand it fully, if you don't, not a huge riddle guy, because I was confused a little bit. So I'll put a video down in the description if you want to just go right, breeze right through it. If you're not in the whole mystery game, if you don't want to wait a couple, you know, try to think of it. If you just want to get, like, the exact answer what to do next, go and watch my go watch a video that I'll recommend in the comments down below. The next tribe is going to tell you to summon each crewmate assigned as your first mate during expedition and catch craft activities. There's three first mates that you're gonna have to do 15 times each, and you're gonna have to assign them as your first mate. Be aware that there's upgrades in the star chart that tell you how to, tell you to give you the ability to summon crewmates. 
So if you don't have that upgrade, then you won't be able to do it. So once you upgrade the star chart, you'll be able to, of course, assign, of course, summon these crewmates to help you in the catch craft and expedition activities. Mm -hmm. So be aware, of course, there's three first mates that you have to be aware of. Once you do it 15 times for each crewmate, you'll be done with this triumph in no time. The next triumph is going to ask you to complete the catch craft activity on master difficulty. You'll be able to do this no time. Of course, there's a lot of champions and there's, of course, LFG and people that will be, you know, of course, you could lo load into them. But just be aware for a fight, you know, they could have some, you know, champions. They could have solar shields, arc shields, and they, there could be a lot of uh, a lot of enemies in there. So just be prepared for it. Of course, you can join our Discord if you need people when it comes to these master modes. But you only need to do it once. You don't need to do it more than once of course you could do it once each week for a pinnacle gear but you only need to do it once for this triumph in the seal the next triumph is going to ask you to defeat all catchcraft bosses which will be rotating once a week to my belief so of course we're on week two so we'll be able to do two of the bosses the last boss will be available on week three and this triumph will be done so basically doing one catchcraft for each of the three places i believe there's one in europa one in the cosmodrome and then there's another one that we'll find out next week as of this video's upload date the next tribe is going to ask you to deposit treasure in the treasured hall which i believe is an expedition throwing the engrams in there to the of course expedition you know tanker you'll be able to do this in no time just playing expedition i believe there's a hundred that you have to do but you'll be able to finish this tribe by just depositing treasure of course in the treasured hall the next tribe is called Robert Baron, where you're going to have to defeat these Rufins, if I said it right, sorry if I said it wrong, which are only in the expedition's activities to my belief as well. And you'll see them as like a champion type thing around the activities. I'll put a, a picture of it, what it really looks like. So basically, you're going to have to defeat them. I believe there's like 10, 20, 30, and you have to defeat them every time you do an expedition activity. Just be sure to shoot them and kill them. So you can get the the triumph completion. And I think, yeah, you have to do around 20 or 30 of them. You have to kill them in Expedition. I don't think they're in Catchcraft. Correct me if I'm wrong there. But I believe they're only in the Expedition activities. The last triumph is going to ask you to craft each of the weapons from Season of the Plunder. The Tartarus Mental. The Blued Blood Flu. The Brit Brickguard's Law. No Reprived. Salisby, Pitch Glass, and Planix Stride. Sorry if I say those names wrong. One of the easiest ways how I have this tribe done already is that if you go to the Enclave and you put all these, if you put three of these Season of the Plunder weapons equipped and you just craft something, you can get it done automatically. So as it's just a little glitch that you can do. So if right now I have this tribe done, again, you just put three of the plundered weapons equipped craft like a tarnation or something and they would say on the triumph page that you crafted three of them so you do the other three and you'll be able to finish this triumph in an easy little you know glitch it's a cool tip to just be aware of before bungie fixes it because this could be a bit of a long long triumph if you did it the other way well because you have to get five patterns for each of the weapons which is a bit bit too much in my opinion so I just shortened the grind significantly, like really significantly, so it's no longer a process. So again, little thing to be aware of there. But once you finish that tribe, you will be full officially done, and you'll be able to equip your Scallywag seal. Hope you guys did enjoy this video. My thoughts on the seal is that it looks really cool. Again, the name, Scallywag, I just love that name. I love the whole fallen pirate vibe to this season. I can't wait to see where the ending goes because again a lot of stuff here is time gated unfortunately with the upgrades with killing the pirate hideouts with finding the treasure with finding the messages the catchcraft bosses you get the ip you get the picture so once we find out really where this is going before december we'll find out you know what our whole thoughts on the narrative story is and of course the triumph completion so we can get this awesome seal hope you guys did enjoy sorry if it was a little bit of a late one because this is we two as you know, this is seal probably will go on for a couple more weeks before anyone can equip it. But let me know your thoughts on this seal. Again, really awesome seal. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.